Hello wrestling fans, the wrestling wizard here and welcome to a predictions video for this year's Survivor Series War Games. And on time of recording this video, there's actually only five matches, but the five matches that they are, I'm sure are going to shape up to be absolute bangers. And I'm sure you're super interested to see what happens in the women's and men's Survivor Series War Games, because I feel like there's going to definitely be at least one major return. Now, before we get into the juicy stuff, as always, it'd be very much appreciated if you could like the video, share the video, and even better, subscribe if you're new. So in no particular order, let's kick things off with Santos Escobar versus Carlito. No title on the line here. This is just a personal battle that feels pretty fresh. And we've got to remember that Santos Escobar has only recently turned heel and Carlito has only really recently returned to WWE. So I don't feel like a loss is great for either person. Maybe it'd be a disqualification finish or something like that. But if I had to pick between the two, I'm going for Santos Escobar. I feel like WWE are really invested in his character. This heel version of Escobar, I think can go places. I really do. I'm a huge fan of Carlito, so I kind of don't want to see him lose. But his return has felt a little bit underwhelming. And I personally feel theme songs are so important in WWE. And returning Carlito with a different theme song, I don't think fits his gimmick. Like when you think of Carlito, you think of the obvious, right, with them apples. But I guess it's PG WWE these days. And maybe I understand their reasons for not going down that route. But I'm going, I've got to pick an option, obviously, in Santos Escobar for the victory. That moves us swiftly on to a matchup for the IC title. Of course, Gunther taking on The Miz. And it's good to see The Miz getting a bit of spotlight. Good to see him actually getting a major matchup on a major PLE. But this is 2023. Gunther is on this historic run. And I don't think in a million years The Miz stands a chance against Gunther. I really, really hope that this is not a squash match. I don't want to see that. I want to see The Miz get some form of showing. But the ring general in Gunther is going to be victorious. And of course, he's going to extend this historic reign. I wouldn't be surprised if he holds it till past the Royal Rumble, to be honest with you. I can't see him losing it anytime soon. Next up, we turn our attention to the women's division. For the Women's World Championship, Rhea Ripley versus Zoe Stark. And it's decent to see Zoe Stark getting a pretty decent push. Is she going to beat Rhea Ripley, the Eradicator? No, it's not going to happen. Not in a million years. However, she's going to get a strong showing. I think this is going to showcase Zoe Stark even further. And I don't know about you, but I'm turning into a massive fan of the Zoe Stark character. I think she's an absolute badass. I think she's going to be a weapon in the future, a future women's world champion for sure, but not just yet. This is a little bit premature. I can't see it happening. I cannot see them taking the women's world championship off Rhea Ripley when the Judgment Day had been booked so strongly, especially at War Games. I just don't think it would make any sense to have a title change here. Teaming Zoe up with Trish Stratus a couple of months ago was a stroke of genius and she's going from strength to strength and she's just looking like a legitimate badass. But it's going to be Rhea Ripley who gets the W here. Now, of course, we move on to the juicy stuff. The women's Survivor Series War Games matchup. Of course, Charlotte Flair, the newly added Becky Lynch, Shotzi and Bianca Belair taking on the stronger than ever Damage Control, of course, Asuka and Kyrie Sane seemingly added to Damage Control. And I love the dynamics here. You've got Bailey, the leader of Damage Control, a little bit wary, sort of looking over her shoulder from time to time. Not sure who to fully trust, but she's going all in on a heel persona still. It's hard to get sympathy for Bailey at this point because she's still being pretty vile to the WWE fans. So I'd be interested if they do have some form of swerve with Kyrie and Asuka turning on Bailey. How that plays out because they haven't actually built sympathy with the Bailey character to invest you in her as a baby face. You don't really care about Bailey at this stage, but maybe they're going to stretch this out for longer. In terms of the actual victor, I think it's going to be the team 
baby faces, if you like. I think the way this has gone down, the heels sort of seem to have the upper hand in the build-up towards this matchup, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's the baby faces. I'm going with the baby faces for the victory. I wouldn't be surprised if, obviously on time of recording this video, this is before the last SmackDown in the go-home show to Survivor Series War Games, that maybe someone like Shotzi gets taken out and then they've only got three members, and then insert Jade Cargill, and then she makes her debut at Survivor Series War Games to replace Shotzi, possibly. Not a fan of that because, of course, fans of Shotzi get disappointed because she's not in the match. I don't like it when they advertise superstars that aren't then at the matches because people buy tickets to see their favourite superstars who are advertising matches to then swerve them is a little bit silly. I think it's going to be the baby faces, and I think post-match, I would not be surprised... If Asuka, Kairi Sane and the rest of Damage Control turn on Bailey, Although I'd be a bit hesitant through points I made earlier on. Maybe it's too soon for that. Win or lose, you could see it happening. But we just have to wait to see how all that goes down. Now of course that moves us on to the main course. The Men's Survivor Series War Games matchup. Of course, Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Who'd have thought that team would all coexist against Judgment Day plus Drew McIntyre. Of course, Drew McIntyre recently turned heel. So many moving parts in this matchup I think there's going to be. But we've got to remember on time recording this video, Team Cody only has four members. Team Judgment Day have five members. So surely, who's he going to call? Cody Rhodes? It's going to be the Viper, the Apex Predator in Randy Orton. And I would not be surprised if this week on Monday Night Raw, they announce it ahead of time. Because you've got to remember, Survivor Series War Games is going to be in Chicago and the fans are going to be all over a CM Punk return. I think if you announce Randy Orton to be in the matchup ahead of time, fans don't get disappointed. It's not ideal. I like returns to be surprises. I don't want Randy Orton to be announced and it to be spoilt, his return. But we know the speculation we know the rumours surrounding CM Punk. If you're not going to return CM Punk, which I don't think they're going to, by the way. I think if CM Punk is going to come back to WWE, I don't think it's going to be at War Games. I hate to disappoint CM Punk fans. I think we're going to have to wait. I think Punk, if he were to come back, it might be at a Rumble or a WrestleMania even, like when Cody Rhodes returned to WWE. But in terms of the victors, if Randy Orton returns, surely it's got to be the baby faces that get the victory. However, if Judgment Day did get the victory, we could have Randy Orton return and then swerve us all and turn on Cody Rhodes and beat down Cody Rhodes viciously. And there, you've got an awesome feud that can meet out for two, three, four months. Like, it would be absolutely epic to see Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton in a feud. But it depends when they're going to pull the trigger here. But I'm going for the baby faces for the victory and no CM Punk return at Survivor Series War Games. But what do you think? Get down in the comments section, share your thoughts and opinions, your predictions, your return predictions, what you think is going to go down at War Games. It's going to be a banger. It really is. Whatever happens, we know some big time shenanigans are going to go down. And it's going to be a tasty PLE. And as always, thank you so much for watching the video. And it would be very much appreciated if you could like the video, share the video, and even better, subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch you in the next one.